When it comes to the manifesting our dreams or achieving our goals, we actually think that we believe that we can do it. But the truth is most people are not believing fully that they can actually achieve it. One of the biggest reasons why people cannot manifest what they're trying to manifest, they're visualizing and meditating and all the you know practice you can imagine, the journaling and you know everything that you can name it. But why you're not manifesting? Why you're not get to the next level? Maybe you're in a business right now trying to manifest 20K a month or 50K a month, or you have some huge goal that you want to achieve, but you're feeling stuck because you lack in confidence. To simply put, you do not believe confidently that you can actually achieve that goal. So it's like this, and as an example, let's say you believe in God. You believe in God fully, whether it's your, you know, Jesus or Allah or whatever your God is, okay? And if you believe in God, but you don't confidently believe there's a God, there's a doubt, there's a worry, there is some part of you actually telling yourself internally that you're trying to avoid or you're trying to address that thought, but it goes like, what if, what if the God is actually just a bullshit? And that's clearly not a faithful way to believe in God, right? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to reprogram your mind so that you can be confident enough to believe that you can manifest it, so that you can believe that you can achieve the goal that you want to achieve. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my video. My name is Sho, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how we can be absolutely confident so that we can manifest the dreams and achieve goals and etc. And like I said, the most people struggle, and including myself back then, I couldn't feel confident. This thought in my mind that says, there's so many people better than me. I'm comparing myself to others. And I was feeling like, what if I'm not good enough? So those thoughts and doubts kept me where I was for a certain period of time. And it was so frustrating because in the deep down, I have the skills. You know, I've got this and I've got that and I can do it. But then I was feeling stuck in the middle of the journey. I was already making a progress at some, some point. You know, I made a million followers and, you know, I was making good money. And, but somehow I was feeling stuck to manifest the bigger goals, which is like my dreams, you know, which is like what, what, what I really, really wanted for so long. But the reason why I was feeling this glass ceiling was because of this lack of confidence. In the deep down, I thought I was confident. In, in the surface level, I thought I was confident. And most people stuck there because they think intellectually, they think that I, I know I'm confident, I know I can do this, I know I've got the skills, I know what I can do. But in the deep down, they feel this unworthiness. They actually think that they're not good enough. They're constantly comparing themselves to others or other business owners, other coaches, other you know great people on social media because now it's so easy to see other people on social media, right? Like, oh my God, they're, they're doing very well. They're making so much money. They're doing this and that. And then because we compare ourselves to them based on their standards, so based on their journey, based on where they are, so now we look ourselves from their standpoint, even though it's, there's no way that you can compare yourself as who you are to them, but you start looking at yourself based on other people's standards. So we look at ourselves as I'm not good enough because he's there or she's there. Means if I'm not there, which is their standards, I'm not worthy enough, I'm not good enough. So as I said, intellectually, you understand that you are confident or you can manifest. You can kind of like see the idea but it's hard for you to actually confidently believe that I'm gonna get there. So to imagine, if you go to the future, like there's a, there's a car that takes you to the future, okay? The car takes you to the future and then you see everything. You've manifested everything. Three years from now on or five years from now on, you are successful in every area of your life. Like you've got a beautiful girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever, and you have this beautiful car, you're successful, you achieved everything that you want to achieve in your business. And then you come back with the same car, right? Shh. And come back to this present moment. How do you feel? There is no worry. There is no doubt. You just know you already did it in the future. So that is the confidence that you want to create without actually having this magic supercar that takes you to the future. If you, let's say, as an example, if you believe in God, right, and then you pray, you know, you do good and be good, and it's a beautiful way to live your life. 
And I personally not a religious person, but I believe in God, right? I am from Japan and I'm born and raised. I was surrounded by the idea of God and I believed it. You know, there's a, lots of God in, in Japan. Shinto actually teaches there's so many multiple different gods like a Hindu. So when I look at it, if I believe in God confidently, there will be a connections to be made. There will be like relationships to build. There is going to be like a beautiful signs and you know the, because i believe in god fully and confidently there will be blessings there will be a protection there will be a lot of beautiful things that god provides for us but imagine if you are not faithful to god your own god then of course there will be a lot of times that you become a victim and you start to blame the god right and that is essentially the difference between the idea of faith itself and then you being faithful to your God. And then here what I want to uh, shift the example to the actual topic that we are talking about, the confidence, is that how much can you be faithful to what you really want? You need to be faithful to what you want, like the things that you want to manifest. Whether you you know becoming so successful, or you whether you are traveling around the world, or like you know making money and then sharing with your with your uh, husband or family or parents, how much can you be faithful to what you want? And here's the thing: most people cannot be faithful to what they want, and it's not because they are just unfaithful, because it's coming from the condition. The society condition, the society programmed us to feel guilty and in shame when we want something. So when you think about something like the words like a greed, greedy, or you know, desire, you instantaneously think instantaneously think something negative. Like it's not positive that makes everyone smile and happy, but it's something like you kind of step back from it because the society condition us to not to desire success, not to desire richness not to desire abundance. And a human being designed to avoid to be categorized or to be identified, to be seen as, to be judged as somebody greedy or as somebody negative in, uh, influence for other people, right? So we don't want to be judged. We don't want to have people around us in the back talking like, oh, she's so too greedy. She's too selfish. He's, he's too greedy. He's too arrogant. We don't want to be seen as that way. We want to be seen as a positive, kind, great, genuine person and because of the condition i assume you actually feel guilty when you think of that like what i really want is that okay to to actually get what i want if you want a nice car then just go get it why, why not because that's what you want some people want something else and that's completely fine so the first key in this reprogramming your mind for absolute confidence is the very fast key is very simple you have to allow yourself to desire you have to allow yourself to be greedy it's it's completely okay because look at the baby baby want titties baby want the milk they cry do you think it's arrogant do you think it's it's some shameful thing for baby to do it like oh how dare you you want titties like i don't know why i went a little bit too extra in the british accent but like how dare you you want titties eh yeah but that's what what a baby does isn't it you just have to cry because that's can that's what a baby can do. But in, as we grow old, as we grow up, we start to feel this all this judgment, and we have we form identities, and we uh, we we have fears and insecurities, and all that kind of things blur our vision. And then society, as I said, the external factors influenced us in a certain way, building the program in our mind, and now we feel guilty. Now we feel shame by expressing the desire to want what you really want. And now you want to create something you want, you want to manifest something, right? So let's let's compare. What's the difference between being a creator of your reality and then being the byproducts of your reality? So the God himself is the creator. The God is a creator. So the God created the entire world, not from partially already created. Am I correct? The God created from the scratch, like completely blank page, the white canvas. But most people understand intellectually that I am the creator of my life, I manifest things, right? But then when they look at that, their life or their experience, they actually become the byproduct. And what I mean by that is if you are the creator, 
you create something on the white canvas, on the blank page. There's nothing that proves that you already are fantastic. You already manifested it, right? So you have to first start creating. And then on the way you're creating, you cannot see that complete manifestation. You can't see the paintings because you're still in like, what, 10%? You still don't see it. So being a byproduct means that you have external factors and then you define and determine everything internally. How I feel, I'm a few stock, I'm not confident, I'm not good enough because what I experience in my reality. So you're being a byproduct of the external factors. You see the difference? If you create and it's obvious and it's, it's a must that you're starting as a, uh, from scratch as a, like, a, like God did, like God created the entire world from scratch. And then if you're the creator of your reality, then you have to create from the scratch. So you won't be able to see the entire evidence that proves that you are already there or you achieved. So now, once you understand that, the next step is that you have to use your imagination because what do you do when you create something? What do you do when you create a video? What do you do when you create drawing? Imagination is the source of creation. So you have to use your imagination to create something where you want to manifest. And I'm pretty sure you have the goals, right? You have the goals that you want to manifest. Maybe it's the, it's the money. Maybe it's the $50,000 a month. Like I want to uh, build my business, scale my business bigger. Cool. So in order to do that, you have to first be faithful. You have to believe that you can get it. You have to allow yourself to want, desire. Then you have to use your imagination, visualizing and understanding how does your life look like because now you're creating on the blank page on a white canvas. You have to have a clear image. You have to have a clear understanding what I'm drawing, what I'm painting, by the way. So now you use imagination and it looks like that. So your imagination is an inspiration, right? So we use imagination a lot to create the very clear, vivid end goal of this painting. And now we, okay, I totally can see me being successful, making $50,000 a month, my business is great, I'm traveling around the world, I'm doing this and doing that. And then I need you to feel fully confident. I need you to feel fully confident that you can achieve it by using your imagination. So imagine so I want you to practice right now with me. I want you to imagine that you are already that person. You're already the person and it feels great and you've been successful doing this and doing that and making $50,000, $100,000 a month, whatever you want. And then imagine that making that money, imagine that being successful to imagine how does it feel like. But you change that direction and now you focus on intone that you've been confident, you are confident, you have to tell yourself that you are confident, you have to brainwash, you have to hypnotize yourself that you are confident so that you will create. You cannot l pay attention to your reality because your reality, your current reality is just a manifestation of the past. So you're paying attention so much of your past, looking for evidence Where's the evidence that I can be confident? Where's the evidence that proves that I'm confident? There's none. You're looking at manifestation of the past. Now you have to look at the blank page. There's even nothing. There's nothing in there. While you're being a byproduct of reality, which means you're paying attention too much of your what's happening, and then you define everything about your internal world based on your external world. So you have to stop the cycle of it, and you have to be the creator. And in order for you to be the creator, you have to take responsibility and then you have to understand there is no evidence when you're creating something. With that said, if you really want to be confident that you can actually manifest the biggest goal that you want to achieve, scale your business and have this amazing lifestyle, then apply from the link in below. I can reprogram your mind in no time. And also, if you genuinely enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button because I'm on my way to hit the moment million subscribers. I'm dead serious. I'm going to manifest it. So if you can support me on this journey, I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.